Welcome to another DIY Engineers video. In this video, we'll be going over how to read an RFID tax UID with an RC522 and an Arduino. We'll be going over the specs of the RC522 RFID module. We'll be going over the module pins, how to connect with Arduino, how to program with Arduino, and as we normally do, we'll then finish up with some testing. Let's get started. All right, so let's talk RFID. RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification and its use consists of mainly two components. We have the RFID tag or tags, so that can be either a key fob or a, a tag or a card itself. And then you have the reader, which will basically read the information in the RFID tag. The tag is not powered, while the reader normally it's powered whether it's directly wired or with a battery. Now, let's go over the RC522 RFID module, which will be the focus of this video. This module is used to read RFID tags and will be the focus of this video because it's very commonly used for Arduino projects or other similar microcontrollers. So going over the specs, it has a read distance range anywhere from direct contact with the reader to roughly 2 inches or close to, let's call it 50 millimeters. And an input voltage anywhere between 2.5 volts and 3.3 volts, so please do not connect it to the 5 volt output of your Arduino Uno. Current, it will pull anywhere between roughly 13 milliamps to 26 milliamps, and it will have a working frequency of 13.56 megahertz. So now let's look at the pins. In the pins, we have SDA, which is used for SDA for I2C communication. We have SCK, which is the serial clock. We have MOSI and MISO, which are your SPI communication pins. The first one stands for Master Out Slave In. The other one is Master In Slave Out, in case you were curious. IRQ is the interrupt pins. Then we have GND for ground, reset for obviously a reset pin, and then your power input pin. And the reset pin is basically used to reset or power down. Uh, the module and the interrupt pin is basically to wake up the Arduino when an RFID tag is read. Uh, for this example, this one will be unplugged, but you could use it for a similar project where you're going to keep your Arduino power for a long time and you want to save on power and you just want to wake it up whenever the tag comes close. So now let's go over how to wire your RC522. So we will connect your power input pin to 3.3 on the Arduino and ground will go to ground. Then we will have the reset pin connect to IO7. Then again, we will skip the interrupt pin. Then we will have MISO follow here in the green connected to 12. On 11, we will have MOSI and then we will have SCK connected to 13 and finally number 10 on the IO pin on the Arduino will be connected to SDA on the reader. Now let's get going with programming an Arduino. To start, please head over to DIYengineers.com specifically to the blog post related to this video which I will leave a link to in the description. So once you get to the blog post, we will start by first going to the section where you will download the Arduino RFID library for the RC522. To do that, make sure to go to the link where you will get the library from Miguel Balboa. So you click it, and once you get there, all you have to do is click on code and download zip. All right, perfect. Once downloaded, head back to Arduino ID. Once you're in Arduino IDE, all you have to do is click Sketch, then Include Library, go to Add Zip Library. And once you have navigated to the specific folder where you downloaded the file, select it and then click Open. I'm not going to do it since I already have installed this one, so I'll click, click Cancel, but you click Open. Once the library is installed, head back over to DIY Engineers to get the code for this specific video. So here's a section where we previously talked about the library. If you scroll down, it just has some screenshots about what we just talked about to install the library if you want to reference them. And then keep scrolling down and you'll have the code that we'll be using. So all you have to do really is 
select it, copy, and then head back to Arduino ID and paste it. So we can now go ahead and paste the code here. And now we essentially have everything we need to go ahead and run it in Arduino. So before, I mean, I'll walk you real quick through the code. I mean, basically include the required functions to find the right pins at 10 and 7, as we showed previously in the breadboard diagram. Then we'll reference in here under this function. We'll do the proper setup. Here we have a few functions just to check basically if you have read like the card that, that is present and that a uh, UID, unique ID has been read. And then we'll, this is the section essentially where we'll print the, the code into the serial monitor saying the RFID tag UID. And then we'll print the UID that we read. And then just print a, a blank line to then next time we print, it will go into the next line. And this will just ensure that we don't read unlimited amount of times just when you make contact, just get one reading for every contact. And then this is just a subroutine to extract the UID out of all the data that is read from the RFID tag. So now we can go ahead and upload the code. All right, and now that we're done uploading, we can go ahead and open the serial monitor. So here we have the Arduino Uno and the RFID reader. And if we put a tag, we can see that we read the tag for the card. Put it again, we got it again. Now if we try the key fob, we will get a different UID. And we try it again. Now let's try the card again, and we'll see we get a different result. So this shows how to use the RFID reader to read the RFID tag for two different UIDs. So guys, this completes the video. We hope you liked it. If you did, please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing. Thank you very much and see you in the next one. Bye.